Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to more Elder Scrolls IV: Oblivion. In this part, we're gonna, we're gonna, ugh, words, come on, we're gonna go down to Weatherlay. There we go. We're gonna go down to Weatherlay down here, and the brothers are inside. But to the west, we have two different caves. One is Rock Bottom Cave, caverns, and we're not gonna be exploring that today. And the other one is Wind Cave, which we will... Ah! We will be exploring today. I need to summon a skeleton to watch my back. Let's put Rock Bottom Caves on the map. Well, caverns. And continue making our way over to Wind Cave. Which, I gotta say, this, this middle ground between, uh... The Colovian Highlands and the Great Forest here. That, that's that's pretty nice. Ha! That didn't work. Come on. Eh? You found Wind Cave. That's fine. It's all okay. I found Wind Cave, guys. All right, thank goodness. Now, my skeleton is over there fighting something, and I don't know what he's fighting, but he'll catch up eventually. And over here is Wind Cave. Now, Wind Cave has a total of, I think, three ogres around it. Possibility of three ogres. There's one, and we killed one, and there should be at least one more. Maybe, unless he's wandered off into the distance. Yeah, just stay down, please. Stop being an embarrassment. Oh, look, my skeleton. Has anyone ever, ever electrocuted their skeleton as much as I have? See, it's becoming a problem. I just cannot stop electrocuting my skeleton. And, uh, it's a little bit uh, shocking. Eh? Eh? So, Wind Cave is a medium-sized dungeon inhabited by monsters. You probably see one over there in the distance that I do not want to touch with a 10-foot stick. However, everyone else in here is fair game. I'll murder them all. My luck is being drained. I don't care. It's my luck. I want low luck. Come on. There we go, drug wax. Ah. Hmm, so fire bad. A ring of willpower, that's nice. Dominate humanoid, that's cool. I imagine the dominate humanoid to tome is used a lot in certain mods. But uh, we're not here to talk about those. That, that, that's a different person entirely. Though, uh, maybe one day. I forgot to recast my Detect Life spell, so instead, I could not tell where the enemies were briefly, and I just walked forward like a blind oaf. My word. You're next. Open that, get the tapper. Ooh! You are now an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat. You gain the sweeping power attack with a chance to knock down your opponent. Press and hold attack while moving backwards to use this power attack. That's really cool. And our regular hand-to-hand -hand damage should be pretty good right now. Oh yeah, I gotta love that luck stat being that low. Uh, Let's see, let's see. How does this affect other attacks? Where'd, uh, where'd Blade go? There's Blunt. I think hand-to-hand -hand is the only one like that. Uh, though, I am having a really hard time finding Blade for some reason. Oh, it's up here. I am dumb. I thought I had a different skill in that place. Alright, so we got the two Spriggans there dead, and we took their tap roots. Hmm. So, in this big open room here... There are a few chests, and above the glacier. That's good for selling, actually. I'll take it. 
Summon a skeleton. The skeleton in the middle of the room is going to be the life of the party. Everything's going to try and attack it, and they're not going to really try and attack me all too much. There we go. Ah, that was really simple. A good skeletal distraction is a must in any good adventurer's arsenal. Parsonal? Like Parthenax, but Arsenal instead. Okay, over here. Weak potion of healing. Nice. Hmm. So we've got all the chests here. There are a few different spots we can go to explore. See over here, this is a nice one. Kill the Minotaur. Over here, down this way, will lead us in a loop. See, a lot of people might actually think that the lower path here will be the guaranteed future success to the end of the cave, but it's a plot twist. Both of them are the success to the future, to the future of the cave, to the uh, further exploration of the cave. Come on, skeleton, die. All right, I don't want any competition now. Everyone, die. It didn't seem to work. Nope. I don't care what I gotta do. You're dead. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Let me heal. Up this way is another trog. Interesting. The land trogs are, I've mentioned it before, but the very much dumber versions of their water cousins, the water drugs, which apparently still have a society. Land drugs are pretty mindless. It's, I guess it's the comparison to goblins and orcs. They probably still have some remnant, uh, they still have some remnant. They still have their societies and everything, but it's a little bit different of how everything works, but vaguely similar. And I'm taking out that Minotaur from a distance. Hmm. I thought there was a chest here. Oh, there is. I'm blind. Potion of Cure Disease. I might as well drink that. I don't have a disease, but, you know, it's... It's worth a shot. Oh, I got him! Stay over there! Stay over there! Sorry, I, I like their hop when they die. Are you serious? Two ogres? Or is that an ogre and a minotaur? It's an ogre and a minotaur. Okay. See, I can't always tell from the distance. I, I don't... I don't have the best night vision in video games. That That is reserved for Predator. In the most recent... In the most recent... Uh, what is it? Predator's Hunting Grounds? That game is cool. All right. Pred Predator's hunting grounds is a lot of fun. And we missed this chest down here, so we're going back down. Resist cold pants. Well, I hope they do. They defeat part of the purpose of wearing pants. Everyone might as well walk around wearing shorts if the pants don't resist cold. Okay. Huh. I really wanted there to be... Ugh, the voice crack. I really wanted there to be more enemies here. Guess not. And the final area of here... Of this cave. The Black Rat Ramble. This has multiple layers like its uh, predecessor. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. There's a lot of enemies, actually. Longsword of the Inferno. That's nice. That is really nice, actually. It's, it looks cool, too. How about you don't do that? Oh! I thought I killed it. 
Okay, summon my skeleton. He's gonna handle some of the dirty work for me. Where'd that will o' the wisp go? Oh, the corpse is over here. Okay, so this way is actually leading me to a boss level chest. And that's why I'm going this way. Actually, is it? Oh yeah, no, it's not. Since we're at the bottom of the chasm, I thought that this would take me up. Or at least uh, the next room would be on evil foot. Evil. Evil. Even footing. But I guess not. We have to go the long way around. Oh. A minotaur and a minotaur lord. See, I don't want to mess with a minotaur lord. Not even now. Oh, no. I need an area of effect thunder spell. It'd be really cool to have one, too, because just imagine the massive amounts of lightning going through the area. Oh, I'd love that. Okay. All the enemies targeting me are now dead. My opponents will never return. That was the end of Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. I mean, technically, actually, that's true. My opponents will never return is very much the ending, but also not the ending of Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. That could be true of almost any game except, I guess, Doom in which the inevitable cycle is Doom Guy must come back to slay more demons. Come on. Hey, no, don't jump down there. I need you dead. Okay. Activate that. Do this. And shock the Spriggan. Eh. I missed. I do like this like that the Spriggans have uh flowers on them. That's really nice. I like flowers. Come on. No. So close. If it's not this episode, it'll be the next that we max that out. Okay, so there's actually a few chests in here, and I think there's one in this corner over. I gotta get a handle of where I am first. Okay, there's one in this corner over here. Somewhere. Somewhere. Isn't there? Oh, no, I'm looking at the map wrong. I'm, ba I'm bad at map. There's this over here. There is one down here. There is one right here. There we go. It's perfect. Ah. Uh, sometimes the attacks just move so smoothly. I mean, has anyone else noticed those odd frames where in which my character uh, takes the hit while blocking and then it just so smoothly runs into another attack? That That is... That is some good work right there. Ooh, an ebony shield. Mara's Wrath. Um, what is this? I don't know what this is. Yes, add it. Fire damage, three points in, fi in 15 feet for 30 seconds on target. Wow. Turn and undead up to level eight in 15 feet for 30 seconds. Okay, that's actually really impressive. I mean, it's not the most useful right now in the game for us, but that is a genuinely frightening spell. Especially with a name like Mara's Wrath. Alright. Ooh. Borosilicate boots? That's not the word I expected in this game, but it's the word we got. Okay, so we got all the stuff in this room. Including the stuff at the bottom of the chasm there. No.
You next. Come here. Punch me. You tried to shock me. That's not what I said. You punch me. Come on. More. Wuss. So the Minotaur Lord is actually supposed to be in this room in that corner over there. And that is also where the boss chest of this dungeon is. And there's another monster over there and that gets my hopes up. Base Ring of Destruction, that's not very good. Uh, as usual for boss chests though, you've, yet, you've got quite a bit of loot there that sells for some good stuff. Sells for some good stuff. Sells for some good stuff, sells for good money. There we go. Come here, fight me. Fight me. Punch me. I want to feel pain. It'll increase my skills. Okay. But, uh, huh. Yeah, we actually got all the chests now. We got everything in this dungeon. We've explored it entirely. Uh, this is a little bit more fleshed out than the unmarked ca cave, and I wonder why. You know, it just... You just did a little bit more fleshed out, and God, it's so curious as to why. And I'm I'm just speaking in a patronizing tone now, aren't I? But no, this this cave is a lot more finished than the unmarked cave, which was literally an unfinished cave from the base game of Oblivion. Well, it's still a cool cave though, and it's an interesting little show off of the show off. It's an interesting little show from the devs. I like it. Anyways, though. That's it for Wind Cave. Uh, Alright, the ominous fire pit in the middle of the cave. Forgot about that. Nice. Uh, Wind Cave is a weird little cave. Uh, most people would not actually ever find this cave. I do mean most people, like you're just exploring the wilderness, you probably realize the pattern of everything at this point. Well, the pattern of how the game generally runs. Find cave, monsters, beat the monsters, loot, run. And that, that's a fine pattern and all. But, uh, oh, wrong page. That's a fine pattern and all, but it's... I understand that for some people it gets tiresome. That's why some people stop playing Skyrim, and some people stop playing Morrowind, and so forth. It's just that, to each their own tastes, and by the time you'd find this cave, you'd go, Oh, another cave. And you wouldn't quite realize that this has good loot in it, I guess. Because there's not actually a huge amount of caves with, uh with boss level monsters and depth like this one and oh there's a boar i'm gonna go punch it and so it just it just leads to people getting tired of it it this might seem like a pretty generic cave but it's actually quite different from things we've explored in the past anyways i've rambled enough uh, thank you all for watching. If you like my stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Check my Patreon, Coffee, and Twitter in the description if you want to support my channel. Thank you all, and have a wonderful day. Bye.